Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama, guys. And I'm just starting to feel a little better. So we're gonna get out and do some things. I was gonna plant tomatoes today. By force of habit, uh, about a week ago, I was at Ace Hardware and I just couldn't help myself. And I was like, well, I just need a few more tomatoes. So probably this weekend, I'm gonna do a video about how to plant these tomatoes and how to trim them pop properly. Well, while I'm out here doing chores, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to recycle a two liter Coke, Pepsi, whatever bottle. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use them for many things. You can even make a planter out of them. But today I'm gonna show you how I, I'm gonna use them to water my rabbits. Now, the first thing I gotta do is I gotta get some wire to support it. So, Always keep some wire on hand. Now, this is electric fence wire. I use it for all kinds of stuff. So, and you can, when you get um, fencing wire that has the wire that wraps around them, I save that wire. So, I use it for all, you know, any kind of wire or material, put it back. You never know when you're going to need it. So, I'm just going to guesstimate how much I need. So, I cut off this amount right here. By the way, guys, I'm here in the shop. Uh, before we get to the bottle, I'm just gonna show you what I got. I got this last week before I got ill. And so I'm gonna be doing a video on this. So I have all these stumps around the house and I, and I thought that, well, I paid a guy $500 to come grind stumps two years ago. And so, then, since then, I cut down a few more trees, and I figured up I had about $800 worth right now to grind. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy a stump grinder, and I'll have it at the house, and I can use it when I need it. And if somebody needs around the community needs me to grind a stump for them, hey, I can do it. So keep an eye out for those videos. We're going to learn how to stump grind together. All right, so now let's go put the bottle with the rabbits. So if you have rabbits, then you already know that the rabbit bottles where they have the little straw with the ball in it, you know, they work pretty well. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of trouble with them, but one thing that I do have trouble with is if there's more than one rabbit in the cage, say you got some littles and then they, you know, they start to get bigger. Well, they drink a lot of water, so I have to fill it up more than I should with the other, with just one rabbit in there. So this right here is gonna solve my problem. I'll show you how. Okay, so as you can see, these rabbit uh, bottles right here, they work well, they do. Now, you do have a trouble with them freezing. Can't help you with that one. Now, I, last year I tried uh, a lot of different things and ended up just going to the rubber bowls and I put that in there with a stick in them and that seemed to work okay. But for any time when it's not freezing, this is what I use. So this bottle right here, we'll take this off. And I'm gonna take this bottle right here. I'm just unscrewing the cap. Now look at this. This bottle will fit right there now i don't know if when they come up with a rabbit bottle if they had this in mind i have no idea but it fits perfect it's the same size it fits it it's just perfect so you can use this bottle and it's got it holds about twice as much water as the regular rabbit bottle that they sell you with just use the end now i don't know if you can hear that in the video or not but Hear that? I got a lot of woodpeckers. It almost sounds like a machine gun's going off in the woods. <laughs> Hear that? So anyway, so I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna put a bend in it like so, just like so. And I'm gonna stick it there. Then I'm gonna put another bend in it. And that way, Put the bin a little bit too close but you want to put a 
a bend in it. That way it just hooks on to the wire on your rabbit cage, if that's what you have. There you go, guys. See them drinking out of it? Well, that bottle is gonna last a lot longer than this bottle. You see how it's dripping out of that straw just a little bit? Now you see how that, that uh, the bottle is like caving in? It's because it's real thin and it'll settle down in a few minutes. If y'all do this, a, a rigid bottle is better. So if you have like a Coke bottle, it's like a thicker. Um, it seems to me like other bottles are other bottles are better than others, but the two liter Coke bottle thing works pretty well. But I just thought I'd throw that in there that that uh, it see how it's dripping and sucking in. Yeah, it'll settle down in a minute. But it this bottle is real flimsy. So anyway. Just giving y'all a tip if when y'all try this. Another way you can use those bottles is you can use them to make fly traps out of. So I have a video on that. Just go down below and find look under videos and you'll see DIY fly traps. And you can make a fly trap out of the bottle I just showed you you made a rabbit water out of a rabbit water out of. So please like, share, and subscribe. Keep me in your prayers. We keep you in, we'll keep you in my prayers. God bless.